Math 98 Exam Review, Spring 2015, Part 8. You will need to be able to solve problems about lines like these. Write an equation in y equals mx plus b form, given the slope and a point. Find the slope of lines through two given points. Write an equation of a line through two given points. Take a line that's in standard form and put it in slope-intercept form. And find the slopes of parallel and perpendicular lines. Write an equation in y equals mx plus b form for the line with slope 3 fourths that goes through the point 4, negative 6. What we know is that x is 6, pardon me, that x is 4, y is negative 6, and the slope is 3 fourths. What we need to find is an equation for this line in the y equals mx plus b format. We substitute what we know into y equals mx plus b. And for y, we put the negative 6. And for m, we put the slope. And for x, we put 4 and then we have plus b. Now all that's unknown is b, and we can solve for b. Multiplying 3 fourths times 4 over 1, the fours divide out, we're left with 3. Subtract 3 from both sides to get negative 9 equals b. We now know the value of b, the y-intercept. Now we'll write the general equation using just m and b. y equals mx plus b, which is 3 fourths x plus negative 9, which can be written y equals 3 fourths x minus 9. So use what you know to find b, and then substitute in m and b, and leave x and y variable so that you have an equation for the line with the slope of 3 fourths that goes through this point. Find the slope of lines through the points 2, negative 6, and 2, 4. This is the slope formula. m equals y minus y1 over x minus x1. y minus y1 would be 4 minus negative 6 over 2 minus 2. In the numerator of the slope formula, 4 minus negative 6 is 4 plus 6 or 10, but in the denominator when you do x minus x1, you get 2 minus 2 is 0. This expression is undefined. The slope of a line through these points is undefined. That means you have a vertical line. And if you would just graph these points to begin with, you would notice that you have a vertical line, and the slope of a vertical line is always undefined. Find the slope of the lines through the points 3, negative 8, and negative 4, 6. Again, we use the slope formula. We put in y minus y1, 6 minus negative 8, over x minus x1, negative 4, subtract 3. 6 minus negative 8 means 6 plus 8, or 14. Negative 4 minus 3 is negative 7. Simplifying by division, we get negative 2. The slope of this line is negative 2. If you graph the two points, you will notice the line goes downhill from left to right, that it falls to and goes to the right one. That is a slope of negative 2. Find the slope of the line through the points 1, negative 3, and 8, negative 3. Use the slope formula y minus y1 is negative 3 minus negative 3, x minus x1 is 8 minus 1. Negative 3 minus negative 3 is the same as negative 3 plus 3 over 7. 
which is 8 minus 1 is 7. This time we get 0 divided by 7, which is 0. It is OK to divide into 0, but not by 0. The slope of the line is 0. This is a horizontal line. If you graph the points to begin with, 1, negative 3, and 8, negative 3, you will notice this is a horizontal line, and therefore the slope is 0. Write an equation of lines through given points. Notice that these are the same points that we just did when we found the slope. So we know the slope of these three lines as undefined, negative 2, and 0. So we're going to write an equation of a line through these two points where slope is undefined. Since slope is undefined, we know this is a vertical line. All vertical lines have an equation like this. x equals the value of the x-coordinate. So the equation of this line is x equals 2. If you observe the points, you will see in both cases x equals 2. The equation of the line is x equals 2. Write an equation of the line through the points 3, negative 8, and negative 4, 6, where we found earlier that the slope is negative 2. We can use either point that we're given and the slope that we found of negative 2, and y equals mx plus b. So using the first point, we know x is 3, y is negative 8, and the slope is negative 2. We substitute these into our equation, y equals mx plus b. X is, uh, y is negative 8, x is negative 2. M is, ne uh, pardon me, let me start over. y equals mx plus b. y is negative 8. m is negative 2, or the slope is negative 2. x is known to be 3, and b is the missing quantity. Multiply negative 2 times 3 to get negative 6, and now solve for b by adding 6 to both sides. Negative 2 equals b. Now, it's a coincidence that the slope and the y-intercept are the same value. doesn't happen very often. just happens to happen here by coincidence. That means that writing the generic equation involving x and y is y equals mx plus b, where m is negative 2 and b is negative 2, so y equals negative 2x minus 2. That's in the slope-intercept form. If needed to be in the standard form, you could add 2x to both sides, move the 2x to the other side to get 2x plus y equals negative 2. That's the standard form of this equation of this line. We'll check both points in this case to make sure it works. So if we take our line that we found, 2x plus y equals negative 2, and check the first point, we substitute 3 and negative 8 in for x and y. We do the arithmetic, 2 times 3 is 6, added to negative 8. We get negative 2 equals negative 2, which is true. So the point works in the first equation. The first point works in the equation. And in the second point, we substitute back into the equation we found. We put in x is negative 4 and y is 6. Do the arithmetic, and we get negative 2 equals negative 2. Therefore, we know our equation is correct because both points work in the equation. Write an equation of a line through the points 1, negative 3, and 8, negative 3. Earlier, we found the slope of this line to be 0 by using the slope formula. Since the slope is 0, we know this is a horizontal line. All horizontal lines have an equation like this, y equals the y-coordinate. The equation of this line is y equals negative 3. Notice in the first point, the y-coordinate is negative 3, and in the second point, the y-coordinate is negative 3. This is a horizontal line, and its equation is y equals negative 3. 
Write the equation 12x plus 16y equals 48 in the y equals mx plus b form. We take our equation. To solve it for y, we must subtract 12x from both sides. So 12x from the left side, 12x from the right side. 12x minus 12x is 0, and here I've simply reordered the terms. I put the minus 12x first and the plus 48 last. Just like here, the x term is first and the constant term b is last. We must divide all terms by 16, 16y divided by 16, negative 12x divided by 16, and 48 divided by 16. 16 divided by 16 leaves y. Negative 12 over 16 is a fraction that will reduce, divide the top and the bottom both by 4. Negative 12 divided by 4 is negative 3. 16 divided by 4 is 4. That leaves a negative 3 fourths x. 48 divided by 16 is an integer. The answer is 3. So this is the equation of the line in y equals mx plus b. Now we can see the slope is negative 3 fourths and the y-intercept is 3, and that's why this is a useful form for the equation of a line. Let's look at the slopes of parallel and perpendicular lines. What is the slope of a line parallel to 2x plus 3y equals 6? Parallel lines have equal slopes. So find the slope of 2x plus 3y equals 6 to find the slope of any line that is parallel to it. I will take the equation 2x plus 3y equals 6. I will solve it for y, subtract 2x from both sides. This leaves me with 3y equals negative 2x plus 6. Over here, 2x minus 2x is 0, so I'm left with 3y. On the right-hand side, I simply reordered negative 2x plus 6 to get the x term in the front, just like in y equals mx plus b, the x term is in the front. Divide every term by 3 to get y by itself. This simplifies to y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 2. The slope of this line is in y equals mx plus b form, so the slope is negative 2 thirds. That means that the parallel line also has a slope of negative 2 thirds. So the slope of any line parallel to 2x plus 3y equals 6 is negative 2 thirds. What is the slope of a line that is perpendicular to 2x plus 3y equals 6? Perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. Since we found the slope to be negative 2 thirds, the slope of any line that's perpendicular to it has to have the opposite sign and it must be flipped over. So the slope of any line perpendicular is the opposite reciprocal of negative 2 thirds, which is positive 3 halves.